anything to do. I don't have anything scheduled for the next, uh, you know, maybe next week I don't have something scheduled. So I'll go there. I'll see if there's something that I'm interested in doing, bid on it, and fill up that time. That way, you know, I don't have any time that I'm sitting around. So finding the clients is easy. There's a whole lot of work that needs to be done, so that's not a problem. One tricky part is knowing what to bid. The reason this is so tricky is because you don't want to underbid yourself and you don't want to overbid yourself. You've also got clients that, uh, you know, and I'll tell you here right up front, just give you kind of a warning. You will deal with clients that don't want to pay what it's actually worth. And then you will deal with clients that don't have a problem paying, you know, what it's worth. So that's something to keep in mind. You can handle that however you want to. Let me tell you how I handle it. Let's say, for example, that when, when I first started out, I would bid whatever. I told you in, in one of the other videos, I, would, I did like four hours of Photoshop training for $360. Well, the man that I did that training for... He felt so bad, I think, because I did such a good job and I put so much into it. He gave me a $400 bonus when the training was over because he knew it was worth a lot more than that. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately, there's not a lot of people out there like that. <laughs> so what you're going to find is that at the beginning, you're going you're to be tempted. If you don't have any experience, you're going to be tempted to bid really low no matter what. And that's not that's not necessarily bad when you're first starting out because you really you know you don't have the experience, so you might have to bid really low, go ahead and get some jobs so that you can see how things work and see how you do and see how the clients like the work that you're doing. but ultimately, what we want to do is find the the true value that we're able to put into that, and that's what you want to charge. You don't want to charge, you know, $30 an hour if everybody out there is willing to pay $75 an hour or $100 an hour. At the same time, you will have people that come up and they want a $100 hour job and they want to pay you $30 an hour. It's up to you how you handle that. I used to go ahead and be very flexible and do whatever they wanted because I was desperate. I wanted to get into this so bad. I wanted to do it because I loved it and I didn't have a lot of clients. Plus, I didn't know how to communicate with people really uh, and, and let them know that I know what it's worth without you know just coming out and saying that. But what I do now uh, is I am flexible. You have to be a little bit 